Chapter 1, Introduction to Physical Geography. Section 1.3, The Four Spheres. So, um, we can suggest that the Earth is composed of four principal components or spheres. The atmosphere, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, and the lithosphere. Geography 108 is going to focus on the first two, the atmosphere and the biosphere. A little bit of the discussion in the course will deal with the hydrosphere, specifically um, how the hydrosphere is related to the atmosphere in, in, and this relationship is, is to do with uh, moisture in the atmosphere um, and precipitation. Um, so, so what is the atmosphere? And uh, here we can see a, a picture from the volcano on, on, on Maui and we're looking at the atmosphere and we're, we're looking at uh, pollution in, in the atmosphere in the form of, um, I think that's burning sugar cane. So uh, the atmosphere is um, a gaseous zone uh, that extends from the Earth's surface uh, high up into the atmosphere, or high, uh, uh, high up in the altitude. Um, it consists of gases and suspended particles, many different types of gases. Um, it's actually quite complex. Um, many of its constituents are derived from chemical and biochemical reactions that take place on the earth. Uh, the atmosphere is also um, the place where weather occurs and humans are changing the atmosphere. The most obvious example of that is is climate change but uh, other ways that we're, we're changing the atmosphere is, is uh, by way of pollution. Um, the hydrosphere is all of the waters that exist uh, on Earth. Uh, and the water exists on our planet in the atmosphere, uh, in the biosphere, um, and also in, in the lithosphere. So um, hydrosphere is equal to the Earth's waters. Um, water exists in various stores. So stores is a place where, where it remains for some period of time. Um, these stores include the atmosphere, oceans, lakes, rivers, soils, glaciers, and groundwater. Um, water moves from one store to another uh, by uh, various processes. And these processes include evaporation, condensation, runoff, precipitation, infiltration, and groundwater flow. Uh, we'll, we'll look at some of these things uh, in greater depth. Once again, humans are changing uh, the hydrosphere and uh, uh, one of the ways is we, we, we pollute some of the the stores including um, oceans lakes and rivers and, and we've modified um, the way water uh, moves from the ground surface into the atmosphere and back down from the atmosphere to the ground surface uh, through climate change um, this diagram here uh, is the hydrological cycle found in, in, all, in all introductory uh, earth science and physical geography books and it, it, you know, on here we can see some of the stores like the ocean and then some of the processes that move water from let's say uh, the ocean uh, to the atmosphere evaporation and then back down from the atmosphere to the ocean uh, in the form of rain. Um, the biosphere uh, consists of all the living things found on our planet. So uh, these living things include both plants and animals. Uh, life is found everywhere on our planet, uh, deep within the ground, uh, on its surface, in its waters, even in its atmosphere. Um, if you look at living things, they're, they're quite uh, diverse. They, they, they vary from being uh, very simple things to very, very complex things uh, like ourselves. Um, so uh, this has been created by, by evolution and evolution takes place over long periods of time. Humans are significantly changing the biosphere and, and the pace of this change is increasing. And um, the main way that we're, we're changing the biosphere 
is we're converting natural ecosystems into um, human constructed uh, land uses like agriculture um, and we're also uh, causing the extinction of species uh, through a variety of processes and we'll look at that uh, in, the, in the last chapter of the textbook. Uh, the final sphere is the, the lithosphere so uh, the lithosphere is the solid inorganic portion of the earth every so often it, it, it burps as we can see here in, in, in this volcano um, spewing um, ash and, and gas into the atmosphere um, the lithosphere is, is composed of rocks minerals and sediments um, we won't look at, 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 at this stuff the lithosphere in geography 108 but it is covered in um, geography uh, 109 uh, and it's also covered in uh, ESC 111 uh, which is earth science um, the lithosphere can, can be considered uh, as the outer surface and the interior of, of the solid earth and humans are even changing uh, the, the lithosphere um, that ends section 1.3